Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So this here is my Raphidaphora hongkongensis. It's a lesser known Asian cousin of the more common Raphidaphora tetrasperma. It's a plant that I got in April 2022 and here you can see a picture of it on the day I got it. So it's been under my care for almost a year now. I paid 12 euros for it, which was quite a bargain, I have to say. After one year, it's doing okay, but at the same time, this plant is asking me three different questions in order to do even better in the coming growing season. So let's take a moment together and listen to this plant. Now the first question this plant is asking me is the most obvious one and also the easiest one to answer. Just have a look at all these very dusty leaves. Now we're coming out of winter and I haven't dusted these beautiful succulent leaves so now that spring is upon us it's time to get rid of all that winter dust so this plant can photosynthesize as it should with squeaky clean leaves. So here we have it, I dusted off all the leaves and you can clearly see the difference. So that's it for the first question, that got a big yes from my part. Now the second question is a little bit more tricky. Okay, so the second question actually poses a bit of a dilemma for me. You can see that I should have given this climber a trellis or moss pole a long time ago. As a result, this guy has spent the winter producing this very long but leafless runner to grab my attention. So the second question this plant is asking me is, where the hell is my moss pole? I've been waiting for it all winter long. Now, sometimes asking questions is a dangerous thing for a plant. Because my answer to that is that it's no use giving it a moss pole just to attach this sad runner to, so instead I'm gonna propagate this plant by chopping up the runner. And once the plant restarts growing, I'll give it a small moss pole, hoping it will grow more new leaves this time. So these propagations I will root in perlite and with a little bit of luck I'll get some new free baby plants out of it. Now for the third and final question, I actually had to take the plant out of its cash pole. As you can see, this impatient plant didn't only produce a runner at the top, it also produced this long root runner, which clearly means this plant is also asking me to repot it as soon as possible. Now on the one hand, I should obviously give the plant what it wants, which is a bigger pot, but at the same time the size of the current pot is quite adapted to the size of the plant. So what I will do, not now but in the next coming days, is to just take it out of its pot, put a little bit of extra soil at the bottom and keep it in the same pot that it's in now. Or I might repot it after all in a new pot that's just one size bigger. So to those who say that plants don't talk, I would say try and listen more carefully, because our house plants do make it pretty clear what they want from us to make it through a new growing season as soon as spring arrives. Alright, that's all for this video, thank you so much for watching it, and if you liked it, please consider liking it and or subscribing to my channel. For now, I wish you a very nice day and I hope to see you back soon on my channel. Bye bye.